absorb all the elements so and then from the heat we get sack of oil. We get our sack of oil. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 12 And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet And their eyes shall consume away in their holes And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth See that? What can cause your eyes to consume away in their holes? The fire from the nuclear missiles, man Right? And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Yahweh shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one of his hand, lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. So we get Malachi 4. I warn for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud here and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, save Yahweh force that it shall leave them neither root nor branch so totally decimated right the destroying way that Jeremiah that Jeremiah um, that Jeremiah Destroy in wind. Jeremiah 51. Can't read here, Jack. Jeremiah 51 of 1. Thus save your hour. Before I ever raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me are destroying wind. And we are saying unto Babylon, Fanners that shall find that shall find her, I shall empty her hand, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. When you read second Edwards, right? When you read second Edwards, right? Pray ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her horse. Bro, 2nd Edward 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird it yourselves with cloths of sack and here bewail your children. And be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent among you. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plays are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Yeah, a sword is sent unto Babylon, man. Who can stop it from happening, man? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sent it to plays, and who is he that can drive them away? Is your hour. The son's name is Yahweh Shai, send up the plagues, man. Right? And who is he that can drive them away? Yeah, who will stop it, man? Look, we're going in, in, in Texas there now, man, with this snow, freezing temperatures, man. Huh? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Clean, man. Who can stop it, man? Right? The Lord shall threaten. The Lord shall threaten. 
pushing up, he only beat it and pulled up, and it's present, bro. Yeah, but it's really precise. Early champions, you know. Papa could have seen, he saw horns. He saw horns coming out of his hand, right? Right? Oh, it's a metaphor for rays of light. Rays of light, you know, what he, what he, uh, he saw a ball, you know, for the chariots be these beings. Ezra's, Ezra's described it as um, fire mixed with uh, it's fire mixed with uh, tempest. I forget how it's worded, but they all mixed together. So when it gets shoot out, it give be like a laser beam coming out, boom, straight into dust, man. In the movie War of the Worlds, man. See. Verse 12, the earth quaketh and the foundation thereof. The sea arises from the waves from the deep. Yeah, you got more tsunamis, man. You got more tsunamis, man. And the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. The strong with his right hand that bendeth the more. Just read that in Jeremiah 51, right? His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, let me get Joel, the second chapter, bro. Joel, he said, I will shall not miss, right? Joel, Joel 2. The second chapter in the first verse, blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh cometh, for it is near your hand. They have darkness and of gloominess, and they have clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, great people and the strong, they have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burning. Yeah, because the, 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 the uh, warhead, the warhead can cause the destruction. The, the, at the back of the missile, the, the propeller, so to speak, like, propelled the missile from, one, or, uh, from this atmosphere into the other atmosphere, they come back down. See, right? The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. So before the missiles hit, the American was beautiful. You know what I mean? Part of the part of Russia, the center of the earth is already a paradise. So you know, Eden means paradise, like down in the Hebrew, paradise. So the land, now this particular land is from America, Babylon the Great. The land is as a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. When it, after the destruction, Nothing shall no more dwell there, but but um, there's a lot of creatures and, and uh, hateful birds, right? Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. See, nothing is going to escape the <laughs> wrath, right? The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and as horsemen, so shall they run. on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like, like the noise of a flame of fire that the world has stumbled on the strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather black as well. But you, know, you see it, you got a long foot of food, you see it because coming down, big man, like stars, <laughs> like stars falling. You know what I mean? You, you strictly fight, man. Strictly fright. Um, they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. See that? So they can miss. I read earlier in second Ezra's right that they shall not miss. So they so they're gonna be in one formation, man. Right? 
Neither shall one trust another so they ain't gonna collide into one another. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna all maintain their formation. Uh, I've got something called guided, guided missile. Uh, you know how it goes, but it's it like you type in, type in a, a code and they will set a target. All right, when these Air Force pilots, they'll be flying the, the jets and they will proceed for the, uh, the helmet. We've got the target locked. You see the screen, we're trying to lock the target. Then when the target is locked, we've got the target locked. Once you press that button, you don't care what the target is, you can't get away because the missile, the missile is guided to that target, you lock onto it. So the same way with the arrows that are going to be shot from Pakistan, from Russia, North Korea, etc. It's going to be shot into the ends of the world and it's not going to miss. The Lord is going to guide it. Check it out, scripture boy. Trust another, they shall walk everyone in his path. When they fall on the sword, they shall not be wounded. Yeah, because he saw the hammer of the earth. He saw the hammer of the whole earth. You know, I started destroying people with the rays and the, the, the draconian laws and measures. You understand? So he's the hammer of the whole earth. He went earlier, Isaiah 40, right? He, he, uh, how is the hammer of the whole earth? Give me a That is your 40. So, like here, all that jam, man. How is the hammer of the whole earth? Let me get here, man. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Because here 14 tells you what. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He saw Edom. So, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? See that? The Lord's going to break the hammer. The constantly beating. Grievousness into all people, man, into, into the world, right? So back in Joel. Uh, number nine, they shall run to a road in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in the windows like a thief. Yeah, that's it. The yeah. walls oh, over there, right? They enter. This atmosphere from they come in from they can, they can leave this atmosphere what they can come back down right? the earth shall quake before them the heaven shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall be dry their shining because when they hear the great soul coming up they had the twin towers being um, when the twin towers fell that was supposed to last a long time shall utter his voice before his army his camp is very great for he is strong to execute his word for the day of your harvest is great and very terrible and who can avoid it see that so the day of the Lord is great who can avoid it man Revelation 19 and 11 and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in much space, you have to judge it more. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many thrones. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Yeah, he's going to refresh, refresh his name in the earth, man. 
Allow you to wear new me and be fresh. Have you hear somebody that just repainted? I saw the corny name in Loma. That name has been refreshed, man. You understand? The name has been refreshed, man. You didn't, know, you didn't know that name for me. Fresh in your mind, no man. It ain't been up for a boy. You have a man shine, you have a shine, man. You see? Right? He was called with a vessel dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Why? Because he comes in the volume of the book. He comes in the volume of the book, man. You understand? He was the Word that was mere flesh. So he's a walking embodiment, man. He's a walking embodiment. The Father taught him all things in the beginning. What he doing? He's teaching us daily, man. You see? But he playing himself. Let him, let him, let him. Um, let him said, that man, that's stuck in my face, man. He multiplied himself through us, man, through his men, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, I'm Hey, God, I'm not going to shit out the shy, boy. He multiplied himself through his men, man. Armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Yeah, and, and the angels coming with him too. Armies, huh? So my God, the uh, angels gonna be with our Lord too. When you read Daniel the 12th chapter. See? Right? And out of his mouth with a sharp sword that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Yeah, me. So he's gonna tread down the wicked. Me. Maybe Isaiah 63, right? Maybe Isaiah 63, man. Big, 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 big. Isaiah 63. A one who is this that coming from Edom with thy garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, but in the sea of yeah, he saw Edom, you're, you're going to be trodden down. Your Lord and Savior, you understand? Thy garments of God will come in. Hey, we continue, man. Wherefore, I'm not ready to the power because Isaiah saw a lot of blood, a lot of blood shed coming me. The Lord is coming to, the Lord is coming to shed a lot of blood. Right? Wherefore art thou ready in the apparel, and the gamas that, and the gamas like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my gamas, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Who's that? Oh Lord, you have a shy of my Right? We get about a um, second and sixteen and you shut shut. Jude verse 40. 
Edina also the son of Adam. For so these say, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Vengeance belongs to the Lord, man. So by in 2nd Ezra 13, man. And, and a tree, and they beheld, and lo, that man was strong, the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him, imagine me. But it's, it's gonna tell you, um, it's gonna tell you uh, a great cloudy. It's gonna be a huge father ship covering the entire earth, man. You see, huh? And the movie Independence Day, man. And wheresoever, and wheresoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. As the earth feared him, when it feared him, the fire, the voice, the metaphor for the, the laser beams. And come out of the, the mouth of the chariots. The laser beams, Habakkuk saw it, right? Isaiah, I mean, uh, Ezra here uh, saw it as well. You understand? And after this, I beheld a Lord, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven. So do the man that came out of the sea. Yeah, so that's the that's the uh, that's the armies in the world. Yeah, yeah. That's the armies in the world. You understand? That's the armies in the world. Right? But I beheld a Lord. He had graved himself a great mountain, see that? And flew up upon it. But they would have seen the region or place where all the hill was graven, and they could not. So Ezra saw this huge father shit like a mountain. He couldn't be a coat where it, it would have come out from there. It was a huge father shit, man. Right? But they would have seen the region or place where the hill was driven, and they could not. But after this, I beheld a Lord all day which were gathered together to subdue him, was so afraid, and yet there was right because when you see, when you see ten thousands, when you see the sky being filled, hey man, I was in when you see the sky being filled, glory to the Lord, which is these chariots, which in Matthew 25 and 31, when the son of man shall come in his glory, all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Right? All the holy angels, these, 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 um, yeah, the angels be, the armies that were in heaven be following, following the Lord be, right? And before him shall be gathered all nations, he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd the body of his sheep from the goats. He shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. We have not sent the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, to the sheep of Israel, Come, ye blessed my father, inherit the kingdom, pray for you from the foundation of the world. Plain. Children of Israel, that's who the kingdom of heaven is for. Plain. Right? Verse 41, then shall he say also unto them on the left, on the left hand, depart from me, ye curse, into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. Yeah, be so that's it. Nuclear destruction. That's in nuclear destruction. Right? Remember the devil and his angels is Esau Edom and his and his uh, his full army. You understand? His full army. Right? So back in uh, second Edwards 30. And um, nine, and lo, as he saw the violence of the body to the came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword or any instrument of war.
flock to me last year. But anyhow, man. Second edge was 13 and uh, uh, 10. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, right? They like quoted earlier. And they were all mixed together the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest of fucking violence upon the earth, upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burn them up, every one, so that upon a sudden of an innum innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. See that? Hey, that's the judgment of our Lord. Oh, let's pick it safe for kingdom, man. I read that earlier. Right. Finally, let me end with that, man. <laughs> let me end with that again. Amos 9 and 8. Before the eyes of the Lord, power are upon the same for kingdom. I will destroy it off the face of the earth. Saving that, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Save the Lord, our Marshal, Shah, and me. So, hey, like that. Let me make a shot shot. Could be the last on the highway. You know, I ain't know what we can see. Watch it. The news when I get, get to the house. You know what I mean? But hey, call her love, like an hour. But I show me how shy, but I show me how to crash. Shama, you shall honor your hour. Allah, I know what you have a heart. You know what Israel, Lord our power, it is one. Rub your mouth, rub your mouth. I will shy, but I have a thought. By your sour, the sad, yes, or bab the one. Our by Shimmy with Shai Barakatam. Many sorrows to the wicked, but mercy to the righteous. Shalom.